everyone! Welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today I have four different boxes to share with you guys. First up we have the Soapster Box for October, then we have the Glamour Jewelry Box for September, the Hygge Box for September, and a Once Upon a Book Club box. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here and on Sundays I like to unbox multiple at once so you can see a lot in one video. So if you're a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe and join this sub box lover family. And without further ado, let's jump in. So we're going to kick it off with the Soapster box um, for October. You have until September 30th to sign up for this box. And this is kind of like a soap and bath product type of box, which I really, really love. Now this box was sent to me free for review and I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 10% off your first box. They have two different size subscriptions. This is the Lone Star box and costs $29.99 a month, but if you sign up for longer subscription periods, you can get it a bit cheaper. So when you open it up, that's what it looks like. On the back it has a stamp that says, it's a beautiful day to use soap. There was a little bit of paperwork on top. The first one is kind of the pamphlet that talks about everything. Um, it says, oh, screw beautiful, I'm brilliant. So it says, welcome to the Soapster Box. This month's theme is Cardio Goddess. A Cardio Goddess is a confident, strong cardiac doctor who's extremely good at their job. A top cardiothoracic surgeon, I don't know if I said that right, traits include an icy attitude, air of superiority, and a hyper-intelligent witness. Enjoy the sense of Cardio Goddess and lemon drop candy. Um, cardio is... Goddess is an ar aromatic blend of jasmine, orchid, vanilla, rosewood, sandalwood, and soft musk. So each month they have a different theme scent and that's the Cardio Goddess is this month. Um, and then on the inside, it will list all of the products that you can receive. A little bit about Soapster Box. Um, it's by Nicole Angel and their mission is to make self-care for sensitive skin fun and stress-free. Small actions can help restore balance and positivity in our everyday lives. You deserve the best and we'll make it easy for you to take a break and give yourself the same care that you give to others. Um, Nicole Angel is a Texas woman-owned handmade business. And the first thing on here is just a little coloring sheet um, right here and it says, first I drink the coffee, then I save the lives. So really, really cute little coloring sheet. All right, and when you open it up, that is what it looks like. So in the Lone Star box, you get two of these, and these are the Cardio Goddess Goat Milk Soap Bars. These are two ultra moisturizing, detergent-free bar soaps made with goat milk and activated charcoal. They leave the skin healthy, nourished, and hydrated. Um, these are clean cotton, warm van vanilla, and calming in their scent. They smell really nice, actually. It's a lighter scent. Sometimes their scents are heavy. This is a very light scent, a very clean scent. Um, and so inside you just have the nice little soap bar. Oh, it smells, I really actually like the smell. It's kind of like a rose kind of color to the soap. So you get two bars of soap in the box. Then you get their Cardio Goddess Glitter Mini Soap Bar. So it's a mini goat milk soap bar that's sprinkled with body safe, eco-friendly and biodegradable glitter. So this also has the clean cotton, warm vanilla and calming scent to it, which smells really, really nice. So another little bar. Now this is like in a chocolate bar, so you could probably break these up into smaller if you wanted smaller soap bars as well. You have that option with this bar. Oh, then there's a little mini anatomical heart soap bomb. Let me, uh, soap bomb. Soap, what is, soap, why did I say soap bomb? Soap bar, bar, not, oh wow. I'm, I just unboxed a Lush bath bomb video that will be coming to my channel this week. So that's probably why I have bath bombs in my head. So there is the little mini anatomical heart soap. So this is an unscented mini goat milk soap inspired by one of their favorite directors of surgery. Okay, really, really nice. All right, then wrapped really nicely, we have a sugar scrub, I believe. Yes, this is their Cardio Goddess Whipped Sugar Scrub. So that is what that looks like. It says exfoliate and cleanse your skin with this luxurious hand whipped parabrine and sulfate free whipped sugar scrub, excellent for feet. I'm guessing, yeah, this has the, I think this has the same, yeah, clean cotton, warm vanilla and calming. I really like that scent. It's like a light, clean, slightly sweet scent. It's a very, very nice. So pretty much everything will have that scent to it, which I kind of like. Then we also have in the same little size, the lotion. So this is their Milk and Honey Body Lotion, which is a rich and non-greasy lotion made with goat milk, honey, and shea butter. Great for dry hands and leave skin softer and smoother. Again, in that same scent, 
um, as the others sealed I'm not gonna open this one but will smell the same and I've used their little lotions before they are really really nice then we have a little natural lip balm and this is the lemon drop candy natural lip balm so these are hand poured paraben free all natural moisturizing lip balms with a lemon drop candy scent I'm not gonna open the seal on this right now just because I have a lot of lip balms open but lemon drop candy scent sounds incredible all right and then last but not least, we have this. This is an Irish coffee cream wax melt by Wick It Soy Melts. So this is a hand poured soy wax melt with fragrance notes of fresh brewed coffee and a base of cream, rounded out with a hint of Irish liqueur. Place the melt in your warmer and enjoy many hours of scent. Okay, ooh, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. It's got a fun little swirl with little um, sparkles but this is gonna make your space smell like a coffee shop in the best way possible. It's a very sweet coffee scent. I don't wanna use the word cocoa like chocolate, but I almost get a chocolatey hint of it, but I think it's just the cream, but it smells so good. I can't wait to use this. Ooh, that's so fun. And then it does also mention the coloring and affirmations sheet that it has. So that was everything in the October Lone Star box. Now you do have to sign up for this box by September 30th if you wanna get this box. So you have a few more days to grab this. Um, so definitely go check it out um, and if you're liking this because this is very, very exciting. All right, next up we will jump into the Glamour Jewelry Box for September 2021. If you're unfamiliar with this subscription, this is a monthly jewelry subscription where you receive two pieces of jewelry for $34 a month. This is sent to me free for review and I do have a coupon code down below where you can get a free gift with your subscription. Now when you sign up you do get to make a decision if you want to receive gold and rose gold jewelry, silver jewelry, or random so um, they'll pick for you each month. I choose rose gold and gold um, so when you pull it out there's a little bag with the jewelry and the card with a the theme so it says I don't like to gamble but it, there's one thing I'm willing to bet on it's myself and that's a quote from Beyonce so it says this month's collection is inspired by your beauty, happiness, and confidence. These jewelry pieces are meant to empower, strengthen, and uplift you. We hope each inspirational piece and quote brings a smile to your face. So like I said, they come in a little pouch that says Glamour Jewelry on it. And then the jewelry comes in little baggies and you get cards that talk more about them. Oh, okay. So first up, we have a bracelet. So it does have an adjustable clasp. This isn't the pull ones, you do have to actually clasp it, but this is what the bracelet looks like, very pretty. This is the Horizon bracelet from the Madison Parker collection, which retails for $38. It says here, dress up your bracelet stack with the Horizon bracelet. This modern bracelet features a row of sleek bars that you can wear with your most stackable styles and trending looks. Now I will say I'm not a big bracelet girl, but I actually really, really like this one. Um, obviously I'd have to clasp it on and I don't feel like going through all of that work right now, but I really, really do like the way that looks. I feel like it's kind of dainty and elegant, but also a little bit edgy. So I might actually wear this. Very, very, very cute. And this is obviously gold, not rose gold. All right, and then the earrings do match and they're moving a lot, so apologize about that. These are the Wishful Earrings, which retail for $36. The Wishful Earrings are sleek and delicate, making it a perfect seasonal pair. The minimalist designs add a subtle touch to your look and will provide an effortless touch to kickstart any autumn celebration. It's from the Laurel and Rose collection, but it does have the little bar at the top to match the bracelet and then dangles down and does have this kind of sleek portion down here as well. Very, very, very cute. Um, I'm excited. I think these could definitely, I mean, I have earrings in right now, but they kind of have this delicate elegance to them to have that kind of thing coming down. These would be really pretty with your hair up. I mean, they look good with it down too, and they definitely match kind of the bar style of the bracelet. So very, very cute collection this month. I really, really like it. All right, up next we have the Hygge Box for September 2021. If you're unfamiliar with Hygge Box, they are a monthly um, cozy subscription, um, which is so, so fun. So the description is stuffed with coziness for those who value relaxation. There are happy moments and celebrating the simple things. Um, they send me the deluxe box. So this is sent to me free for review. And this retails for $49 and comes with five to seven handpicked seasonal items. You get elements of light like candles or fairy lights, hot drinks and spe like teas, coffees, cocoa, indulgences like biscuits or coffee, home decor, 
and lots of other fun stuff inside. They do then also have a miniature version of the subscription, which is the standard. That one is $36 a month and comes with four to five products inside. And I will leave a link down below in case you're interested in signing up. So this did also have an additional box outside of the box. So very, very excited to get inside. And I will just say that I'm absolutely obsessed with the way that this box looks. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. On the back, it talks about the whole background of Hygge. Definitely do your research if you wanna learn more, but essentially it's just this coziness, happiness, and enjoying life's simple pleasures. And the card is so cute right now. Oh my gosh, I am actually obsessed. Um, so it says here that as the temperature drops, thoughts turn to indoors, a chance to enjoy the favorite parts of your home at its best. Indulge in slow living, surround yourself with good coffee and tasty stroopwafels. Calming comforts cannot be rushed, so light a candle, pull up a blanket, and reclaim joy. Restorative quiet never felt so good. Okay, this looks really, really fun. Well, let's go ahead and start with the thing outside of the box. Now, I believe this is for the deluxe box only. Um, so let's open this up. Oh my goodness, I think it's a mug. <gasps> oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Okay, I just did a mug clear out, but I'm literally obsessed. I'm so excited about this. It says homebody on it. And I am a homebody. The bottom is just that rough ceramic and then it has a great size handle. I love that. I have a couple mugs where the handle's weird. This has a very nice um, handle. So this only comes in the deluxe box. It says here, make a statement with every sip using this stoneware style mug. It's delicate speckled design, natural bottom, and double-sided debossed homebody design may make this mug your go-to for that first sip of a morning coffee. This Hegelic mug can hold up to 14 ounces of your favorite drink and is perfectly sized to warm up a waffle. Time to Hygge. Yeah, you can put waffles on top of your coffee. Like, that's a thing. Um, at least I know from watching the... Uh, Grand Prix that was just held there. That was like a thing. They had like a booth set up. Um, this is dishwasher safe and microwave safe. I love that it's dishwasher safe and I'm literally, this might be my new favorite mug. I am obsessed. And on the Stroopwafel theme, we do get a whole little pack of Stroopwafels. So it says here, the old mill Stroopwafel is baked from an early 1800 family recipe near the founding city of Gouda. A Stroopwafel is a wafer cookie made from two thin layers of baked dough joined by a caramel filling. The Dutch way to eat a Stroopwafel is to place the cookie on top of a cup of hot tea or coffee and wait a minute for it to soften. Turn it over if needed and eat warm. <gasps> yeah, this, I can't wait. I'm like, after this, I'm definitely making a tea and putting a soup bubble on it because that's so exciting. Oh my, okay, this box might be one of my new favorite boxes, guys. Like I am very, very, very into it. Oh, and I think the theme is nest. I think I totally ignored that, but at the top it does say nest. <laughs> the next thing that I am pulling out is made from Higga Box, I believe, and this is a pumpkin chai candle. It says here, treat yourself to the perfect mix of sugar spiced and everything nice. This is a cozy, comforting blend of pumpkin with hints of cinnamon, vanilla, cloves, and nutmeg. A warm and inviting scent perfectly suited for the autumn season. Love the amber glass. Oh my goodness. That's a really good, that's a really good pumpkin chai scent. Sometimes they're like weird. That's like literally the perfect one. Standard wax and wick, black lid. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. It's four ounces and burns for 20 plus hours. This is hand poured in the US. Okay, okay, this is like so ex I'm. This feels so fall, this smells so fall. I love street waffles, I love the mug, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, okay, this is so fun. Okay, the next thing is I think kind of like the warm drink. And we have two little packets of a pour over black single serve coffee from Black Porch Coffee Roasters in Blend, Oregon. So it says here, quality micro batch boutique coffee. After researching and developing this product for the last year, Back Porch Coffee Roasters are happy to introduce their single serve pour over coffee packs. Made with medium roasted coffee sourced directly out of Narina, Colombia, you will experience cherry, toffee, and chocolate notes. Each box contains two single serve packs. <gasps> this is so fun. Now I don't drink a ton of coffee, but I do like the little single serve. These are the kind that you just put over and pour over. So I think these are super duper handy and easy. I love these because I don't drink coffee regularly. So if I want it, it's super simple. I don't have to have like the grounds 
get old or gross because these are hand sealed or if I have somebody come over that would like one, these are super duper great. So very, very excited. And notes of cherry toffee and chocolate sounds definitely like a blend that I would enjoy. Ooh, okay, we get a book. This is really cool. The book is called Reclaim Joy, a guided journal to discover simple pleasures every day. Um, it says Cre Creative and Mindful Ideals 365. This is from Amin Rushton, um, which is very, very cool. So it says here, who doesn't need more joy in their days? Simple can be delightful, free can mean rich, and nature can offer the most powerful, plentiful, and bountiful treasures of all. Reclaim Joy offers 365 experiential prompts and rituals and plenty of space to write, draw, and find joy. Teaching and inspiring you how to live a slower, back-to-earth, less cluttered, and more peaceful life. Amin Rushton will show you, how, show you how to notice, find, and experience the simple things that can bring happiness back into our everyday lives. Um, this sounds perfect. I'm not gonna lie. And the inside of this looks so fun. There's so many like different things going on in there. This is so fun. I feel like I need this. Uh, just with everything going on in the last year, I feel like, or two years now basically, I feel like this is something that everybody could use. And the illustrations are by Pui Li and they're very, very beautiful. So I'm very excited. This looks like so much fun. And then last but not least, we have little sticker markers from Nikoni Original Designs, six designs and 15 sheets. Oh, these are so cute. So it has the little tab sticker markers and then just like little, little is that a kitty cat or a fox? I don't know, that's so, so cute. So to stay on top of all your notes, reminders, and to-dos with these really adorable sticky tabs, you can also use them to mark the pages of things you'd like to do and try in your Reclaim Joy book. Oh, this is so fun. Oh my gosh, okay, this box makes me feel so good inside. I think this is definitely one of my favorite subscriptions right now, I'm not gonna lie. It hits all the notes. I can, oh, this is perfect for just like a cozy fall day. You got your, co your cup, your coffee, your shoe waffle to put on top. You've got your book with a sticky tab, you can let your little candle like this is a whole moment of self-care and I love it I love it so much it's like self-care without just being like beauty and skincare you know what I mean I appreciate that this is a deeper level of okay I'm obsessed y'all I'm obsessed I love this box so much so I'll definitely leave a link down in the description box below if you're interested in signing up all right, and last but not least, let's jump into the Once Upon a Book Club box. Now, they've stopped calling them by month, so I don't know which month this is, but we'll talk about the theme here in a minute. Isn't the box the cutest thing ever? It's shaped like a book. If you're unfamiliar with Once Upon a Book Club, they are a monthly book subscription where you get a book, and then you also get three to four gifts that correlate with what's going on in the book. So if on page 57, you open it up and she's drinking tea, you might open up a gift that then is T to correlate with the book. Now I do pay for this box with my own money. It is not sent to me free for review. And this box is $49.99 a month. Um, I do have a referral link. Like I said, I don't make any money off of that link since I don't work with them. It does give me like, I think a discount if cer certain amount of people sign up. So if you're interested in signing up, that helps out a little bit. Um, and this box is so, so fun. Now I didn't pre-order their Halloween boxes that they had, but I did pre-order their Christmas box. So just know that that's a thing. They have like, a, it's separate from their subscription. It's a one-off purchase. You can then also buy some of the previous monthly subscriptions in their store. I think it's a little bit expense, more expensive if you do it that way. So if you're interested and you really like the idea of this specific box, then you could get this exact one potentially in their store. Um, and then they also have a youth subscription as well. So this month's book club kit is called po Body Positivity. So you get some stuff that comes with the pack, but the book itself is this here. It's If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy. Now, if you watch my subscription box Sunday from like a week or so ago, you would have heard me say when I unboxed that previous Once Upon a Book Club box that the next book isn't for me and it's gonna take me forever to read it. I read it in two days, so apparently, I do like this book. It's by Julie Murphy, If the Shoe Fits. It's really cool. Now, when I read the back, I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is for me because I'm like, oh, this is like a romantic kind of book based on a reality TV show type of thing. And I'm like, that's not me. But actually it was a very, very good book. And so I'll read more about what the book is about in a minute and we'll go through the gifts. But this, it's a paperback book is what it looks like. You then get your book club kit. Um, so it starts off with the kit itself. Um, it goes over a conversation with the author. Then there are some discussion questions that you can chat in their Facebook group. So there is an actual book club element if you wanna join that part. And then there's also read along dates where they talk about the gifts and unbox them. This month was only three gifts. 
Um, and then the back just has a little quote. It did come with a signature card. Not all of the boxes do, but this one did where the author signs it. Um, it doesn't come in the book, but I always put the sticker in the book because I don't know where, where else you would want to put the signature of an author. So that's where I put it. Um, then you do get a little quote card, which says, maybe joy isn't a choice. Maybe things aren't that simple, but then maybe they are. So a quote from the book. There's also a note from the author on the back of that. And then you do get a bookmark with the book. It has the same quote on it. And on the back, it says, Psst, to fully experience this box, remember to only open your gifts once you reach the given pages. Don't worry, we'll remind you. So they put little stickers in the book. So that is what the little kit looks like. So before we jump into the gifts, I'll read a little bit more about the book. So it says on the back, if the shoe doesn't fit, maybe it's time to design your own. Cindy loves shoes. A well-placed bow or a chic stacked heel is her form of self-expression. As a fashion-obsessed plus-size woman, she can never find designer clothes that work on her body, but a special pair of shoes always fits just right. With a shiny new design degree but no job in sight, Cindy moves back in with her stepmother Erica Tremaine, the executive producer of the world's biggest reality dating show. When a slot on Before Midnight needs filling at the last minute, Cindy is thrust into the spotlight. Showcasing her killer shoe collection on network TV seems like a great way to jumpstart her career. And while she's at it, why not go for a few lavish dates with an eligible suitor? But being the first and only plus-size contestant on Before Midnight turns her into a viral sensation and a body positivity icon overnight. Even harder to believe, she can actually see herself falling for this Prince Charming. To make it to the end, despite the backhanded compliments conniving producers, and a house full of fellow contestants she's not sure she can trust, Sandy will have to take a leap of faith and hope her heels and her heart don't break in the process. Best-selling author Julie Murphy's reimagining of a beloved fairy tale is an enchanting story of self-love and believing in the happy ending each and every one of us deserves. So it didn't sound like a book I would like, but honestly, it was really, really good, and I couldn't put it down. It was really, really nice. I know sometimes people ask about the font size. It's a pretty decent font size. It's pretty easy to read, um, so let's go through it. So there were three gifts, and then there's like a random little thing in here that we'll talk about as well. So first, I'm going to show the wrapped gifts really quick, and then I'll unbox them. So if you want to see what the gifts look like, but you don't want to know what they are because you might purchase this and want it to be a surprise, um, I will let you know when I will actually open them. So the first gift is on page 87. And that is what it looks like. They all package to go with a the theme. Then page 232 and page 286. All right, so now we will unwrap the gifts starting on page 87. Um, so they do have a little sticker that tells you when to open the gift. So I'll read a little bit of text before I open it just so you can kind of understand. Doubling back to the first page, I find a clear space and press my lips to the paper, leaving the impression of my red lips for him to find later. So when you open this up, you get this and it says Henry's journal. Now this little piece here is removable. That's just on top. So you basically get this nice yellow journal. So like I said, you can just remove this piece of it so that it's just a plain journal. And then on the inside, it is just white pages. It's not lined. So you could doodle, you could do lots of different things. The paper quality is like, it's okay. It's not incredible. Now, the one thing that is nice for the story, but weird for real life is that they do the little doodle and they put the kissy lips from the story in it. And it's not a detachable page. And I just feel like if you actually wanted to use this for something, it's really weird to have that in. I mean, you could cut it or tear it out, which is probably what I'll do, but I wish it was like a sticky note on a page so it was a lot easier to remove without being like, I don't know, I think it's like nice to be immersive, but if you actually wanna use this as a functioning journal or like if you wanted to gift this to somebody, like you almost can't, you know what I mean? It does also come with a little book strap, book strap, that's not what it's called, but a little thing inside. So really, really cute, but I wish it didn't have that page in it. I wish they did something a little bit different there. Now the next thing, just so that you're aware, on page 129 there's a little walkie-talkie in here. It says Cabbage Patch. Is that you? And then there's a QR code that you can scan um, to download a walkie-talkie on your smartphone um, if you wanted to. I don't know if they're counting this as a gift, but it's, it's just going to be an app. So that's whatever. I'm going to be honest, I haven't scanned it because I don't want that on my phone. But um, I guess it's kind of cool. And just so you know, there is a whole theme of walkie talkies in this and Cabbage Patch has a like reasoning. So it makes sense with the story. All right, then the next gift is on page 232. 
I wrap the towel around me and of course it barely covers anything and suddenly I'm wishing for the very large, very luxurious towels at our New York hotel. So when you open this up, you get a Turkish towel and this one's actually really pretty. It's a kind of gray and black striped Turkish towel. It has a little thing that talks about the quote from the book. Um, it's actually a pretty nice Turkish towel as well. So this was a really, really nice thing to receive. You could use it as a beach towel. You could use it as kind of like a blanket or you could use it as a Turkish towel. There are lots of ways that you could use this. So a very practical gift. All right, then on page 286, the next gift. The shoe I've been working on is rough looking to the naked eye. Exposed seams, obvious shoe nail tacks, but I can see what it's supposed to be. I can see the potential and this tassel is the crowning finish. So when you open the box, you get a tassel keychain. It's actually a really nice one. It's gold. It's got kind of the navy. And that does actually have a little tag here that says uh, handmade if the shoe fits, um, you know, based on the book. So it's really a, actually a very, very cute keychain. Really, really nice. I would use this. I don't really need one right now, but I, I would use this keychain. So very, very cute. So that was the body positivity box from Once Upon a Book Club. They don't use months, which I think is confusing, but this did ship out August 25th um, and was a really, really great book. I really, really enjoyed the book. The gifts were like, okay. Um, they're like, it's a fun experience, but I don't find myself always using them. I think it's probably because I get so many subscription boxes that I just don't have a need for a lot of these things. So you may see some of these things in future giveaways, but definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. So that was everything that I will unbox in today's video. Definitely let me know what was your favorite box and what was your favorite product from the video. For me, my favorite box was Huga. My favorite product is that home body mug. That is so me. I'm so excited about that. Such a fun box but definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.